Gentlemen, I've got a great one for you today. I'm off to San Francisco to get measured for a custom suit. We're gonna sit down with the owner and the man himself, Daniel George, and hear a little bit about his story. We're also gonna show you what it's like to select the fabrics, the linings, and show you some of the measuring process because it's really quite involved. I hope you find this as interesting as I do, and maybe you can even pick up a few new things that you maybe didn't already know. Stick around because this is going to be a good one. Okay, welcome back, it's great to see you, and as always, I'm glad that you're here. So the marketing team over at Daniel George reached out because they wanted to do some type of collaboration with me. So right off the top, guys, I'm not receiving a penny for making this video. I am, however, receiving a suit free of charge, and if you're wondering if that's going to sway my opinion about Daniel George in this video, let me just say that it doesn't even matter at this point because I am extremely blown away by how incredibly personable, engaging, and likable Daniel is, as well as the attention, the service, and the experience that I received. So I can get into more about that in just a little bit, but sit tight for the next minute or so and meet Daniel and hear a little bit about his background, and I'll be back right after this short interview. My passion for clothing came from parents. Dad was stylish, well-dressed, took me shopping twice a year from the age of eight on for summer and winter wardrobes. Um, so I was like this well-dressed kid and didn't even realize it. Um, I have a lot of the same mannerisms as my father who passed away when I was 14, but he left me with an interest in menswear and clothing. He wasn't in the fashion trade, he was a business executive. I can remember a kid in, in high school saying, who's that, who was that? And I said, it's my dad. And he was like, wow. I just remember that like it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. So that was inspiration. So what makes this different is strong guidance. You'll come to us a blank canvas and leave educated, or at least more educated than when you came in. This is about forming uh, a relationship. A lot of our clients in San Francisco come to us for their wedding suit or tuxedo. Um, and then they discover tailored clothing. And while they didn't know it or think they needed it prior to the wedding or the real need, and that is they can't get married in a t-shirt and jeans, um, they discover they have a little hidden burning passion for menswear that they didn't know about. Here, if you want something completely unique that no one else owns, that's attainable. Um, but more likely, we're making smart, tailored clothing uh, that's practical. It really depends on the gentleman, so that's why getting to know you is very important. So this next bit of video, we go through the fabric selection, lining selection, and some other various options that you can choose when you're having a custom suit made. For example, you can select what type of pockets you like, whether or not you want a cuff in your pants, what type of taper you want to your trousers, along with a ton of other options. Daniel is a serious pro and his knowledge of fabrics, colors, and tailoring is absolutely incredible. So I did rely on his expertise on a few of these decisions. So watch this next segment and pay attention to a lot of what he's saying because there's valuable nuggets of information that he's just dropping constantly, especially once we get into the measuring stage. Guys, stick around and I'll be back once we start measuring. All right, I have this Rockstar, mm -hmm. Rockstar status. It's, like it's so elegant, it's ridiculous. Now this here makes me crazy. I couldn't decide. This isn't so much me, but this looks like a modern Brioni suit to me. This has got that kind of like 
maybe Dunhill 1980s sort of a thing that I think is so cool. Uh huh. And then if you want a really good solid, how beautiful is that blue right there? Yeah, that's the really, steel really blue. nice. So the blue gray to it is gonna look amazing on you. And why do I point to that and not this? This is banker. So the, the yeah. solid navy is not that interesting. Looks mm -hmm. like maybe you're going, you know, you could be a mortgage broker. I'd rather you look like what you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is in fashion. Not yeah. a banker. Um, here's something else I think you'd get a lot of use out of that's really shocking. <laughs> These two. Oh man, yeah. So the classic houndstooth, I have this. And I love that. I do like that. Like these are the classic Savile Row British oh, suits. This. And that little subtle oh, bit of blue right there is beautiful. really beautiful. Nice and the cloth here, the Super 160s, is stunning. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's very, very nice. Holy moly. This is, this is your color story right here. Yeah, I'm leaning way here more than here. Mm -hmm. I like that little bit of blue in there. I've yep. got some blue leather loafers that Ooh. to run with something yep. like that. The shoes you wore last night. Could, yeah. Right? Yeah. Just that little pick well, up of blue? Or? Well, and what, what's cool about that is the, the really classic British, uh, you know, gentleman is going to wear a black cap toe shoe with that. Sure. And that's the square way to go. Mm -hmm. And what you're talking about is the fashion way to go. Yep. Put a blue shoe with it. 100%. I have some trousers. My blue. My. I've got some trousers that are similar to this look. Yeah. I can probably pull up a photo and show you. Yeah. That. Yeah. Similar to that. The classic blend plaid is what that is. I do like it. Do and what's interesting is that I am drawn to that because I already own trousers very similar to that. So I do. I am drawn to it. When you open your mouth at a party and nobody knows you there, they're gonna expect you to have an accent when you're wearing this. Oh, cool, all right. Right? If I don't, am I gonna be a let down? No, they're, they're <laughs> gonna be more intrigued that you don't. They're gonna say, wait, this guy's from here? Huh. That doesn't make any sense. This guy looks let's so international. Let's, let's, let's go with that. Okay, cool, you like that. I do, yeah, let's, let's run with it. Okay. But I can't add a cuff if you want a cuff later. So let me start by telling you who wears cuffs. Okay. Tom Ford wears cuffs. Okay. Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren is probably 5'7 or 5'6. Mm He's -hmm. a little dude. It's How wide are your cuffs? So here's the deal. Because they've got to be... It's got to be a big thick cuff yeah. and then a really nice taper. And we stop right above the shoe. It doesn't even touch the shoe. Make sure your ankles are tan. Mm -hmm. Right? Wear that blue loafer. Oh. If you look at P.T. Uomo in Italy... Yeah. You never seen so many cuffs. I know. Cuffs I know. you can I put a sandwich in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, you want a rope shoulder? A rope shoulder? Mm -hmm. What's a rope? And then it's got just a little bit of a cap. Yeah, I do see that. It does stand up just a little bit. There's a. Yep. And in this suit, look, I won't be offended if someone thinks that your suit is Isaia or Kitan. If they think that, I'd be kind of excited and flattered. Okay. So if we do a few of those subtle things that are kind of a throwback a little bit, really, really tasteful, mm -hmm. um, it's going to look good on you because, okay. you know, we're not going to make the point to point too long. So we shorten up the point to point. We make it really clean, almost like uh, a shirt shoulder. Okay. Soft and natural. Okay. Give it a little bit of that pleat um, and a little bit of the cap, a little bit of rope. Okay. Peak Look lapel my... and then you got to tell me how nuts to go on the peak. Okay. Because I could, I could make it wide enough that if you walk fast enough, you'd lift off the ground just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, right. I can do that. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. I like the smaller, something like that. It's a little too. Yeah, it's wild. But like the smaller stuff. Agreed. Especially for that suit. Yeah, for that suit. But. That powder blue is spot on, but I still love that too. Is that too busy to go with that too busy? Not that that's busy, but... I think you're not going to regret that. Okay. This, look, I love this. <clears throat> I've always got different linings. This is all my good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, your next suit, you know which one I love? It doesn't go in there. Fuck, look at that. Mm -hmm. How delicious is that? So in a blue suit... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? 
you get a midnight blue suit. That would be the double-breasted if you ever let me do it. Mm -hmm. And then maybe it's the third suit we do. Because sure. if you love this with all the changes and wacky stuff I'm talking about, mm -hmm. where you're a little nervous, and you realize if you hate the suit, I'm, it's a do-over. Oh, I'm not going to hate it. I know you're not. not. I know I'm not it's in my best interest for you to love this okay. and love us and come back. And everyone's going to want to meet you because Amanda's already like, can I come out next time? And so everyone's talking about next time. So okay. there's going to be a next time. Terrific. All right. Let's, let's do it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Let's do it. Lavender medallion. All right. So we're doing a four inch peak lapel, one button, side vents, functioning buttonholes on the sleeves. It's the only way we do it. Good. We don't ask, we tell. Good. <laughs> um, we've got our fabric, our lining, uh, ticket pocket, if I didn't already say that. Soft, natural shoulder, high armhole, trim sleeve. Mm -hmm. Let's measure you. All right, let's do it. Right on. So what do you think so far? I am absolutely fired up to get this suit. I'll be going back to San Francisco for my final fitting in just a few weeks. So be on the lookout for a follow-up video to this one. Now there's more to go, but make sure you leave me a comment and let me know what you think so far. And if you are enjoying this, please hit that thumbs up button just to let me know. One other thing I do wanna mention is that when you book a fitting with Daniel George, you have either him or his staff the entire time. There is no pressure whatsoever, and it's all just expert assistance sort of helping guide you through all the decision-making process. So, okay, here's where we get into the measuring process coming up next, but I do sidetrack him a little bit here at first because I start asking him about all the other suits that he's got in his showroom, and I thought it was interesting enough to include in the video, so I do hope you enjoy it. I'll be back in just a few minutes to wrap everything up, so stay tuned. Let's say there's a Beverly Hills holiday party. This with jeans and a velvet bedroom slipper, mm -hmm. right? Open collared shirt. You'd ruin this if you put a bow tie with it, right? This is all about super fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, almost comical. It's almost costume. Yeah. Happy Halloween. That's very cool, man. It's a little Hugh Hefner, mm -hmm. right? So it's got that smoking jacket it's feeling. Like New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Yeah. Right? Or black tie optional. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. And then just went really simple and basic with the eggplant lining. That's great. So feel that. It's Italian velvet. Oh, man. Isn't that gorgeous? That's not like any other velvet no. that you're going to... No. Play. Oh, man. And then we do mother of pearl buttons. So again, if if you put the grow grain button on here, you you box it in as formal wear, where this just adds that elegance to it, so that you can wear that as a blazer and this as a suit when you wear both pieces. It's just it's very different. Mm -hmm. But this isn't for everybody either, mm -hmm. you know. But this is how I would shop if I didn't own this. A hundred percent. Oh yeah. I like the unique factor. The experience is very different here. Um, and we clown around. This is fun, but we make very serious clothing. Like I've said before, if you don't love it and I don't love it, we have to love it together. It's a collaboration. You can't have it. I have to love it too. It has to fit you beautifully because you're going to walk around and say, hey, you know, people are going to say, where'd you get that suit? I don't want them to go, that's badass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? And one leg is longer than the other one. Oh, well, then we can't make you a suit. Know, right? You should have told me that up front. Yeah, we would have saved a lot of time. Out. Okay, it's over. Turn <laughs> off the lights. <laughs> right sleeve, 32 and a half. Let's go 32 left and right sleeve. And that's the normal watch size-wise? Yeah, basically. It's a big watch. A dress watch that's a little bit smaller. But. Okay. So let's go, let's go 10 left cuff and we'll go nine and a half right, 15 and three quarters neck. Arms forward, right that. Shoulders forward, posture, two and three quarters. Left shoulder. Well, let's go. Let's go two and three quarters left. Two and a half right. So this is our classic 38, and here's why we put a coat on you. 
So this is how we make the shoulder and the chest and arm hole. It's a little higher. I'm okay. going to trim your arm more than our standard. Okay. So I'm going to take a little more out of here. Good. So trim arm mod. You'll find that stuff down. And you can. Sheet. Yeah. You can. Well, because of your chest measurement. Okay. That's going to be trimmer too. Okay. Cool. But you know what I like? I like the chest. Mm -hmm. I like the way. Look, there's there's popping, and then there's so your left shoulder's lower than your right shoulder. That's creating the button in the buttonhole not lining up on a ready-to-wear jacket. Oh. This is the kind of thing you see in ready-to-wear, and nobody knows how to fix that. Interesting. And it's the easiest thing to fix in the world. But if you look, you'll notice <clears throat> that the button is it's about just that a much. half inch higher yeah. than the buttonhole. Just that much. So that can create a shift in the coat that's unflattering that nobody understands why it's happening. Holy moly. Yeah. So that, so look at that. This is what you'll see on a lot of men's ready to wear. So you need a little of that. So move your right arm forward. That's why you need a little so that it doesn't pull too much. But what you've got is more than a little. That's more than we want you to have, right? That. So we want that just a little cleaner. And how do we do that? shortening this measurement right here the back of the coat so i'm going to give you a half back adrian mm -hmm. let's go 17 and a quarter half back the reason it turns a lot of men off is because most guys are familiar with suits in the 500 hundred dollar range and the suit they have in their closet that they wear to work mm -hmm. that they understand isn't super high quality fabric yeah and it's not there's no sheen there's no sheen so people are afraid of sheen until they're reintroduced to, you know, I might say something like Brioni or Xenia or cloth from Scabal or Dorme, and people don't know what that means. So here there's a bit of an education that sheen is good, that that little bit of sheen. So if you look at that, the sheen on this cloth, I believe this is a Rada cloth. It's really lovely. One to touch, but especially to wear. The sheen on that is what we really want on our bags. All right, let me know about all the compliments you get. This is our fragrance Tarosa, which is made in Italy. It's unique, it's soft, it's light, it's great for spring or warm-blooded dudes. <laughs> That's Very nice. Good. That's nice. Thank you. Appreciate all right. it. All right, let's do this. Yes, let's do this. <laughs> yes, let's do this. Guys, in all seriousness, this was a fantastic experience and I can't wait to get back to San Francisco for my final fitting and see this suit come to life. And on a personal note, guys, we had dinner with Daniel the night before to kind of run over the video and meet face to face. He is truly a captivating individual. There was not a moment where we struggled to fill that sort of awkward quiet space. We even talked about our childhood and probably even overshared just a little bit, but it's so easy to have a conversation with someone who gives it back to you and completely engages in the conversation. I cannot thank Daniel and his team enough for this experience. And I hope you guys stay tuned in a couple weeks to see the final result because honestly, I can't wait. So Daniel has locations in San Francisco and Chicago. So if you can get to either one of those two cities and want your own custom fitting, I highly recommend it. Lastly, gentlemen, if you like men's lifestyle videos, kind of like this, please hit that subscribe button because I make new videos twice every single week. That means I'll see you in just a couple days for a brand new video, but until then, be good to yourself.